everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. It is late on Sunday night and I thought you were going to get this on Tuesday, but you're going to get this on Wednesday. So, um, I gotta kind of keep it low because the girl's back from college and she's ugh, fucking three jobs. In, she doesn't start the one of them for a couple weeks yet. But, uh, anyhow, she's got to work in the morning. And I want to go to bed, too, because I'm tired. But, you guys, oh, my gosh. I am totally into the linens now. And I have to get these for you guys. Okay, so I started out getting tablecloths. Then I got a bunch of aprons. And then I got some miscellaneous things. Ugh, wait till you see. So I know some people were saying that they wanted something round. And this is round. Now, I'm not pulling this whole thing open. I don't know how big it is at all. You would have to wait to video. But, um, yeah. I think this might have been made by somebody. I'm not sure because of the way this is on here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is good for inside or outside, I think. I mean, obviously not outside if it's raining out, but you wouldn't be out there then anyhow. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I love a red and white check. So, and I love the fringe. <laughs> so that is the first one. This one is actually, it turns out, it's Threshold, but I was okay with that because the way they had this stuff, like, they had it all, like, tied up in these, like, bunches and had felt fabric wound around them and everything. So cute. And I wasn't, like, trying to check all that. Like, even if it was just, like, a cutter of fabric, I would have bought it because it was cute. But um, I think this is for Oval. Again, this is something that I will have worked out whenever it is that I end up selling them. Um, but it's, I think this could be any season. Um, maybe a little heavier spring and fall. But yeah, I think it's really pretty. And I like the, whatever this material, like feel of it is. It's, it's um substantial, but it's it's lightweight, if that makes sense. I don't know. This is the first one I got, actually, and I love it. And this is round. Ah, so vintage. Gah. The only thing that would make this one better is if this had fringe. Ah, but I love these colors. They're so vibrant. I mean, this blue and these greens together, oh, so good. And, um, I mean, you know, if you have a certain kind of vintage fabric, or not fabric, uh, you know, furniture with the vintage um, vinyl and stuff, the cushions and stuff, this might go just per just perfectly. But, um, yeah, I love, I love this vibrancy of it. I love it all. And then this is the last one. And you guys always say, oh, Michelle doesn't ever have cherries because she loves the cherries. But I don't love all of them. First of all, not that I don't love this, but it's not. I have one table and it's really more in my living room than it is. I mean, it's not in my kitchen. It's like in this room. I don't know how this, that maybe was supposed to be a little nook or something. But, um, and so it would look weird if I had this on there. Um, so anyhow, it's very thin. Um, it may be homemade. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell, but I was like, by the stitching, I don't know. I feel like it might have been homemade. I don't see a tag on it, but that doesn't mean anything. But anyhow, 
this is going to be enough in, in another, in one of my sales, whatever. Then I got a bunch of uh, aprons. Uh, this one will be in a boho sale. Because I, I felt boho vibes off of this one. And I love it. I love it. I love a pocket on it. Oh, I just, uh, I just love it. And this is super, oh, I love this one too. This is my other, like, this is maybe even my favorite one. Because this one actually, you would put it on this way and you would button this in the back. And you would have your pockets in the front, see? And then you would take your straps and tie it. So then you got your pockets here. And it's like a short one. But, uh, I mean, you know, this could be like for, I feel like this might have actually been like for haircutting. I don't know. But it's, it's whatever you want it to be. I mean, you know, back in the day, before you could be, you had to be super cool, you know, for hair cutting and stuff. <laughs> so this one has me a little perplexed. But I liked that it was different. And I thought also, I know some people were getting very, like, motivated by some of the um, ones that I had recently. And I thought maybe this would be the same situation, like where you could use this to make a similar but smaller one. And also, this is the bottom, and I love that. Honestly, if you cut this down and just use it as a towel, I would love this. I love it. Um, but, so here's the, you know, and... The funny thing, okay, is like, here's the, like, this will go over your head, but then where is this? Where's the, where, where are these going? Where are these getting buttoned? I don't know. Because these have ties. And also, like, where would that be going? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if there was like an outfit. <laughs> that this went with or if this was meant to hang a certain way or I don't know what all I know is that like something's not I'm not altogether certain on some of this but I do like that that it has this lot has a little pocket here only has one little pocket but yeah I'm 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 a little uncertain about this and um, I don't know. I might, I might have to do some, some, um, apron homework. I used to sell a lot of aprons when I sold locally. So, you know, obviously I'm going to start getting back into that more now that I'm getting access to some good ones. This is the cutest thing. And when you first look at it, you kind of think it's a unicorn, but then you see it has two. Isn't that just precious? And so, I mean, this is a waste one, but I think it would be for a younger, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not, but like there's pockets then. I think this could been, I don't know, reworked maybe for a younger child or it still could be good. I mean, I think I thought that because it's so small, you know, but people are small. I'm just not one of those people. This is just gorgeous. It's like a pale pink with these amazing flowers, this amazing pocket. And I love the way it's cut. It's so pretty. Again, I look at aprons as more than just what their intended use is for. I just do. I think they're Ah, oh, it's so good. I love this one so much. 
Oh, I just love this one so much. Um, I want to say, it, I, I think you could do it either way you want. It's like reversible, sort of. Um, so my initial thing is this way, okay? And I think it's adorable because then you white, you do whatever. You got a towel here and you could just kind of go. Oh, well, I can wash my hands right there. I mean, come on. But then you, well, you could turn it this way and there's this thing for I don't know what. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's on the other side of the other, you know, but it doesn't, I don't know. I just, I, this is ingenious. Or just genius. Is that just genius? I don't know. <laughs> now, this, this here is the one that got my attention as far as the aprons. Oh, and this is the front, even though it's the back. Isn't that adorable? How cute would this be for your granddaughter or something, you know? Like, that is so cute. It's for size 13 jeans. They were, I mean, you can cut that off if you don't like that part of it showing. But this is precious to me. And the next one's even better, in my opinion. But again, like, this would be great for, like, if you have two granddaughters, oh, you just watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sure did go there. That's just adorable. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, I could do that. I could do that. Could you, though? Because it takes a little work to do some of this stuff. This stitching can't be the easiest thing. Honestly, I mean, golly, this. Ugh, so cute. It's so cute. It's just adorable. I know we all think we could do certain things, and I'm sure some, a lot of us could, but a lot of us could not. <laughs> okay. And then we've got the miscellaneous items. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did this for you. You know the feeling of those old calendar kind of towels, the calendar, and then they'd be your towel. Like, oh, and it's Bob Goral. Goral. Goril? I have to look that up. I should probably know that. I don't know. And there's two of them. Gosh. They're so good. And look at this. Is it a tablecloth? I think it was meant to be a tablecloth, but then maybe it's just a small one, or maybe it's the start of something else. See, it was labeled tablecloth. This other girl thought it was just a scrap. Well, it's big enough to be a tablecloth for some, like on a smaller table or around. I mean, it's just adorable. Or how about even if you wanted to use this, like, for your grandchildren, how they do, like, a picnic in the living room? Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? So flippin' cute. Yeah, I think it's really cute. So, there's that. Um, this I might. Of all the things I bought today, this I might keep because I, I really love it. It's like a dresser scarf, I guess. You you know, I, I had like a doily looking one, cheap doily looking when I was a kid and just had my like Ginate stuff on it, you know, but I love this. It's very deco to me. Um... Yeah, it's real. I get a deco vibe out of this, but I I love it. I I think I need to keep it. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, this one, I 
like two of the sides are finished and two of them are like undone. But I feel like you could use this as like a, a tapestry because of the size and the everything, because of everything about it. It's Karma Kitties. Oh, <laughs> Karma Kitties. Yeah, the color is everything. The size is good because it's not mammoth. Like, you know, not everybody does like the big ones. And, um, and it's different. It's not, you know, your typical, um, you know, tapestry. So, and the last item. I think that somebody made this with, well, they used to have Artex back when I was a child. Oh, I love doing it. And now I think it's like Aunt Martha's make something. So this is a, it's the size of a runner and it's like this lint free and it's in the shape of like a dresser scarf or something kind of runner. Probably could use it as a towel as well. But look. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's on both ends. And then this is in the middle. Oh, aren't they adorable? Isn't that cute? Now I know you can't see it all from that far. I'm trying to give you an idea of the size of it. And that it has that on both ends. And then that in the center. I just think it's adorable. And quite honestly, I probably would have dug further into her stash. But, um... You know, when you're not alone, it, I felt like I was, and I know Tammy was, will say, oh, I, I would have, you know, but I just feel like, I don't know, she doesn't get as much stuff anymore, and I feel like I'm taking up time, and you know, I know she doesn't feel that way though, but anyway. I think next time in, in June, I will definitely be digging deeper. <laughs> This woman has these kind of things because, yeah, it's, I mean, like I said in the video that I did, which you would see on Sunday, so on Monday, um, I definitely am interested to know, you guys, I want you to comment down below and tell me what kind of things, like I liked having, being able to package these things so much easier so much easier for shipping. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to do the, the glass and all that stuff, but this is really enjoyable to do. And I like this stuff. I like looking at it. I like the vintage. I like the true vintage of it. I need to know what you guys really like and what you really want in this aspect. Um, so that I'm not like, I don't want to waste any time or money on it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have, you know, 8,000 tablecloths and then nobody wants them anymore. So <clears throat> that's what I really want to know because I got such enjoyment out of it. Also like the pins and stuff, not all the brooches and stuff. Although I do like some of them. I like the enamel on some things. If I find things, I want to know, like, is that what you're down for? Um, like it, it, you know, I know what a lot of people collect as far as like glass and pottery and things like that, but do you collect these smaller things? Do you collect, you know, and do you collect linens in, in what, what part of the linen arena do you, you know, do you just, do you do tablecloths? Do you do kitchen towels? Do you do aprons? Do you do whatever, you know? So, yeah, I had such a great day today. I'm really tired, even though I slept for three hours when I got home, but I only had four hours of sleep, and then we proceeded to, yeah, kick it. So, you guys, I just, I, 
again, please let me know because I want to keep looking for the right things for you guys. Um, and I, I mean, I'm always going to be true to my boho girl self, you know, like every other week I, I do intend to stay on that. I think that's, uh, I think that's very doable. And if I find that, oh, I don't feel like I'm going to have a good enough sale, then I'll, I'll switch it up. I can do that, you know? Um, so yeah, you don't have to be a boho girl to like boho things, first of all. Um, and also, you know, you don't have to be Aunt Martha or, you know, Grandma Lucille or something to like all the vintage things, you know, like you can incorporate certain things from different eras into your own decor, whether you like a shabby chic aesthetic, or if you, you know, maybe like something more traditional, or if you are totally like, you know, gangbusters into um, the 50s, or, you know, all the different things. And if you guys ever have like questions on decorating with certain things, I have, that is like what I love, 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 love. Like I love to, I can't wait till I'm, I'm, I'm almost done with my living room. I'm like, oh, I can't. There's a few things that in this pile somewhere of things that I want to finish. Oh, but you guys, I can't. I love the way it looks right now. I love it. And I can't wait to do a video and show you guys. And, um, and then when I do that video, I should be at a point where I can tell you what I want to, an idea that I have for some of my, um, future, um, future posts, future videos. And, uh, which I think, I think, and I hope, I know, um, a lot of you will enjoy. Um, I know one person in particular, and that is Erin at the Collection Vintage, who is so dear and just so, like, complimentary, but also, like, girl, you don't need help. You got it. So, anyway, um, that being said, I wish the borders were open. I would love to come to Canada and, and help you with your new house. <laughs> So, um, anyway, yeah, you guys, I just, I, I'm always asking because, you know, I think I know, like, I mean, like I said, there's certain things I see and I think of blank and blank and blank and, but, you know, at the end of the day, do I know all these things for sure? Because we all are a changing bunch, aren't we? Like, I don't like the same thing forever and ever and ever. You know, there are certain things that I will always like. And then there are some things that next year, this time I'm going to be done with. Um, but that's just, you know, cause I like so many things. <laughs> so I'm in the right business, right? Because I can recycle it, right? I can love something and then I can let it go. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Well, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, please again, make sure to leave me the comments and tell me all the things that I need to know <laughs> about what I ask, not about unsolicited life stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> have a good one and uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up after you, uh, comment down below, make sure you share my channel with anyone you think might enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, once you're asking someone else to subscribe, you should be subscribing as well. Thank you. Bye.